Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over a quick overview of Adobe Muse. And I'm going to be showing you how to get access to Adobe Muse through the Adobe Creative Cloud. So as a side note, the first beta version of Adobe Muse was released on August 15th, 2011. Uh, the release version 1.0 was released on May 7th, 2012, and the release version 2014.1, which is the latest release version, uh, was released on August 13th, 2014. Uh, so Ad Adobe Muse is about three years old, and, uh, and it was designed to help you build websites without any code at all. So it's a fairly newer program. Uh, since August 5th, 2011 uh, to August 13th 2014 uh, there's been a lot of updates in between so Adobe Muse uh, is a really great program uh, it works really well and it really does help you build websites without any code so to get access to Adobe Muse we'll go to our browser here and we'll go to adobe.com and right here it says get creative cloud we'll click on get creative cloud and here we have a few different options. Uh, we have photography, single app, complete, and complete special offer. Uh, the complete special offer saves you 40% in the first year, but it requir requires a prior purchase of CS3 or later. Uh, we have this uh, complete option here. Uh, this is the option that I currently use because uh, it gives you access to all of Adobe software. Um, and I use other programs like Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, After Effects, Edge Animate, and I've dabbled a little bit with Premiere Pro. Now, if you just want Adobe Muse or any other single app, uh, you have the single app option. So if you wanted Adobe Muse, uh, you just choose your app right here and just select Adobe Muse. And then you have annual plan paid monthly, uh, annual plan prepaid, and monthly plan. Okay, so those are the different options and you can do it for individuals. Uh, business, students and teachers, and schools and universities. Uh, so once you've uh, purchased your Creative Cloud plan, you'll have access uh, to download your Creative Cloud app, and then you'll have this little symbol uh, that shows up right up here in your toolbar. Uh, for PC users, it'll probably show in the bottom uh, icons to the right bottom near, I think, the time and the other icons. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my Creative Cloud uh, button here and here we have home apps assets and community uh, apps is where you install your software so I have access to all of Adobe software so I've installed quite a few and here are the different software that I have it installed so if you selected a single app for um, for Adobe uh, for your creative cloud option then you'll have Adobe Muse here and it'll look like this because you haven't installed it yet but all you do is click install and it will take a few minutes to install maybe a minute minute or two and if you purchase the complete option you'll have access to all the software and you can install install the ones that you'd like to use uh, so once you've installed your software uh, in this case we're working with Adobe Muse so we go to applications and then you have your uh, your installed software in your applications if you're working on a Mac and here I go to the Adobe Muse CC 2014 um, I have two versions right now because the latest update didn't override the uh, the last software and that happened for quite a few Adobe programs uh, but that's okay I mean the latest version here is Adobe Muse CC 2014 and I can actually get rid of these uh, you know older versions um, but yeah if you click on the folder you'll get the icon in the folder and you can either uh, place it on your dock on your Mac. You just click and drag, and yeah, put it on your toolbar down here to have quick access to it. Or if you're on a PC, you can create a shortcut on your desktop and have quick access to it from there. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and open uh, Adobe Muse just to show you the startup screen, and uh, you get this nice welcome screen here. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video.